Hi everybody, this is Dana and I'm going to be doing, um, let me scoot in, a quick um, review of just of the boxes that I was covering, recovering the other day and I showed you, I thought I would finish um, what I had done and show you what they look like. I decided to do them a different way, so um, I thought I would show you the finished um, product on some of them. I have so many boxes that it's going to take me a while. So anyway, this is what I'm using. I didn't even know that they had this. Um, it comes like this in sheets. It's called duct tape and it comes in sheets. Um, so you have to kind of measure it out. On the back it's got stripes. So you set the box down to measure it out. So um, let me show you what I've done so far. Here's one of them that's completely finished. Doesn't it look cute? All the sides are done, everything. I didn't do the bottoms because I figured if it's stacked, some of them I'm going to do like books and take like a button and wrap it around so it doesn't open. And you can put it on a shelf like this. That way I'll have to do all the sides. But this is a Beauty Army box. You can see on the inside. And then... Um, I did a birch box in the same pattern. I know these boxes aren't as um, sturdy, but it still looks really cute. I mean, it was a lot more work to um, cover all the edges. I'm not going to open it up, but I, I covered all the edges. I didn't do the bottom. Oh, I did do the bottom on these. Wow. Yeah, so um, this is a birch box. Um, so see how cute they look, just stacked. There's that's the front. So there's those. And then I did this one. I showed you this one. Um, some of these are going to be Christmas gifts, and I figure if they're going to be used all year, why would you want them in Christmas patterns? So I'm going to just shove them full of stuff. And anyway, this one I think I'm going to recover. Um, this one's Hello Kitty. I don't know. I might give it to my niece. She, yeah, I covered the whole box. So this one came in like a roll, which was a little bit harder to do. And um, So yeah, I wouldn't keep this for myself. But I have so many of these boxes that um, it's just crazy. And then... Um, so where I got these was Walmart, and I think they were $1.88 a sheet. So they come up to about here, and it takes about, it depends on what kind of box you're covering. If you're covering the birch box, I think it takes two sheet, two of these sheets. Um, and they had them in like, they had them in the pink and black, they had them in black and white, this. And then they had them in like splotches of paint, which I didn't like. So I had a birch box that I was trying to cover with paper. And Mod Podge didn't work. So I'm going to have to use the duct tape. Um, so I'm going to do them in all the same pattern. I just don't want a bunch of mixed up boxes, you know, that all look different. So um, actually I like how the birch box looks best because it's totally covered and they just I just think they look darling so um, once I get them all finished I have a lot of them um, but they just don't look good when they're scrambled around you know so these are Christmas and then when they come out with their Christmas I hope hopefully they'll have Christmas duct tape I'm gonna do some in those so Anyway, I still have a bunch of plain boxes. You can see where I stuck the. I tried to hot glue them, and then I tried Mod Podge. That didn't work. The t the paper just didn't want to stick. Like the scratch book, the what's it called? I do the cards with the paper. Um, the scrapbooking paper didn't want to stick to these with Mod Podge, so. The duct tape really works, but you have to really measure them out, and you have to figure out how the best way to do it is, or you're going to waste it. So, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, it's a good way to use your boxes, 
instead of throwing them away. Sorry about the lighting. And uh, anyway, I hope you have, all have a great evening. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Or I'll see you later. Bye.